Kwa huku mbali mini kwa huku chini and well, we've definitely been focusing on the athletes and most of the Kenyan athletes taking part in the World Under-18 Athletics Championships, focusing on their performance. And of course, Kenya has performed exemplary in its specialities, being the middle distance and races, while also grabbing a surprise bronze medal in the walk race, as well as a silver medal in the 400 meters race, which was quite a surprise. Let's now move from the athlete and now talk about the fans. The fans have been coming into the Kasarani uh, Stadium in their droves. As you can see today being the second last day of the championships, the fans have been trickling in uh, since a morning, but the afternoon seems like uh, when the fans have decided uh, to just rain into the stadium. We'll be engaging some of the fans, asking them why they are here. Do they really know what's going on? Are they big athletics fans? We will uh, definitely be talking to most of them asking them why they're here and uh, some of the races that they are really looking uh, forward to. As you can see, security is not being taken for granted. We will, in a few minutes, of course, taking, take you uh, to the main stands where the Kenyans are seated and uh, you get to feel the euphoria at the Moy Stadium, Kasarani. Just because it's in Kenya, I have to show support to our team and maybe cheer up the rest of the world and I think. huge as the number of fans is outside the numbers have been translated into the stands here and the stadium is almost full to capacity on a day especially where fans had to choose over rugby and athletics considering that as Senegal was playing Kenya in the Africa gold match the stadium is full to capacity and we definitely have to talk to some fans and find out why they are here and what the expectations are it's a world international uh, occasion rugby next weekend will be there after one month it will be there, but this one uh, it's a lifetime. We could journey the different countries as they compete. The whole world is here. And it's a good thing in heaven on a weekend. And uh, everybody is happy to come and enjoy. And it's, it's, it's amazing. I feel happy with my, my daughter here. Stop in sub Saharan Africa. The number of Kenyan fans who've turned up to the stadium over the days is a clear indication that Kenya is a sporting destination and more global events should be held in the country. Lynn Washira, KTN News. Very well, a very good afternoon to you. Welcome to this session where we'll be taking a, a look at the under-18 World Championships that are taking uh, place here in Nairobi. We'll be taking a look at the highlights of the five-day event that is coming to an end this afternoon at the Kasarani Stadium here in Nairobi. My name is Robinson Okenya and the story that we've just seen is from Lynn Washira. I remember yesterday we had a record 50,000 people take place take to the Kasarani Stadium and remember 50,000 is not an easy number to get to go to the Kasarani Stadium. It is a 60,000 seater stadium so probably today we might see more people going there and it's the first time an IAAF World Youth event has attracted such a huge number of spectators turning out to the uh, stadium to watch you know their favorite athletes take part in different uh, fields. Now that was yesterday. Today, probably, we might see more people taking part in uh, rather going to the Kasarani Stadium to see what is happening there. But we move from yesterday and we take a look at the medal standing. Remember, Kenya has nine medals, but we take a look at who is leading the medal table. We have uh, Russia leading with uh, eight medals, four gold medals, uh, rather, there are two silver and uh, Two bronze medals, a total of eight, and uh, Cuba comes in in the second place with four gold medals, two silver, one bronze, a total of seven medals so far. China in number three with four gold medals, one silver, three bronze, a total of eight. We have Ethiopia, who are Kenya's uh, perennial arc rivals when it comes to long distance uh, running, and we have uh, three gold medals for Ethiopia, three uh, silver, three bronze, and a total of nine. I'm sure you are asking yourself where is Kenya when you come to this uh, medal standings. Germany at number five with two gold medals, four 
uh, silver, four bronze, a total of ten. And then at number six, you have Kenya with two gold medals, four bronze medals, three, uh, rather four silver medals and three bronze medals. And that will make a total Uh, category. So we now take a look at the highlights from the gold medal events that Kenya won. Nzuri. Ndoje suko natarajia kupata nambari la tatu Lakini kwa Mungu ameweza kunisaidia nimekuwa nambari la tatu Narudia shukrani. Kwa hiyo. Nimekuwa mzuri. Lakini haiko mbaya sana. The race was, was great and it was tactical. So you had to think while you're running. So I enjoyed it. We apologize for that uh, mix-up. Those are the yesterday's. Uh, those are reactions from yesterday's uh, Kenyans who took part in different uh, events, and uh, most of them uh, managed to get bronze. So we take a look uh, right now at the winners. Uh, who, uh, the Kenyans who, are, who rather have the gold medals. That is uh, Karen Chabet and Elijah Manangoi. performance and he timed it to perfection 34754 I done the cheering squad in fact uh, at the last 150 meters it was like they were adding me the strength to go very fast as usual who came into this race as favorite and who looks as if she's going to lead home and Kenya one to home and she stumbles my goodness me what drama Chef Karui makes the one error that she's made in the entire race and let's Chef it back in Personally, I think the 2,000 meter steeplechase, the race between uh, Karen Chebet and Masi Chepkrui, has, has to be the most dramatic event that we've seen so far in the World Under 18 Championships. But now we move away from the gold medals. We go to the four silver medals that Kenya has so far. And remember, Moitalel Mpoke won in the boys 400 meter hurdles we have mary morale who has been very impressive in these championships she got uh silver in the 400 meters for girls we also move on to immaculate chepkirui who won uh silver in the 3000 meters and we have uh, masi chepkirui right there if you saw the clip where she had to take on uh current chebet for the gold but she had to settle for silver in the 2000 meter steeple chase for the ladies so let's take a look at the highlights for the guys who've won silver for kenya just beginning to drift away as uh, chef Kurui stretches and tries to force a gap between herself and abash Minsewa, it's Chep Karui and uh, Minsewa and Chep Karui trying to force a way through but what a response from the Ethiopian and it's uh, 
Min Sewer. But then Chip Karui has the strength. 200 metres from home. The crowd are absolutely on their feet. Chip Karui tries to kick for home, but there's a response from Min Sewer, who's not out of here yet. And Min Sewer against Chip Karui. It's going to be a fantastic finish. They're absolutely neck and neck. But it's the Ethiopian who leads at the moment. And it is Albers. Min makes her move, it's still Dos Santos who leads, but here comes Malikova and Duran on the inside lane is having the race of her life. Barbara Malikova goes to the front though, ahead of Duran. It's Barbara Malikova of the Czech Republic. Kenya are going to get the silver as Malikova wins. The distance is enormous. Williams is held on to second, but into the home straight. The South African takes another barrier. He's got one more to come. There's no mistake from Top Kokana, who's going to storm to gold. It's a golden spell for South African hurling. 49-28 for the Kenyan. Future stars right there. Now we move on from the silver and go to the three bronze medals that uh, Kenya has won. So who are these? <laughs> Uh, youngsters that won bronze for Kenya. We have Japheth Kibiwat in 800 meters. That is for the boys. We have Dominic Nigiti in the 10,000 meter race walking. He won bronze right there. And then we have Edna Jabitok in the 1500 meters where she won bronze for Kenya. Let's take a look at the highlights of the youngsters that won the bronze for Kenya in different fields. For bronze medal position. Ndingiti trying to hold off medals, as will this man. Brilliant moment. Look at him. Absolutely delighted. Away they go. Just listen to the roar around the stadium as these girls. Germa and Hailu and Lowe are all up there as well. Everyone is still in contention, really. But behind her, she's aware of the presence of Lem Lem Hailu, and it looks like she's done enough to break Kenyan hearts. It's a terrific run by Lem Lem Hailu. Jimmy Dog is still trying to get silver, but she won't. Hailu wins for Ethiopia, who get a 1 2 with Gerba taking silver. So the Kenyans right there that won uh, bronze in different fields. Now, the session for this afternoon starts at around 3 p.m. But is it the last time that Kenya is going to win a medal? I personally don't think so. But let's take a look at the Kenyans that are expected in action this afternoon. These are the Kenyans that, that might bring more gold, more silver or more bronze to Team Kenya. So we start off with long jump where we have Gloria Mulei and that will be at... 3.35 uh, p.m. this afternoon. She'll be taking part in long jump. So make sure you uh, make a date, get to watch Gloria Mulei and uh, see probably if she might be in the medal bracket for the long jump. That will be at 3.35 this afternoon. So we move on from long jump. We go to another activity that is expected this afternoon where Kenyans will be taking part in and that will be at the 800 meters for girls. That will be exactly at 4 p.m. Kenyan time this afternoon. We have Lydia Geruto and then we have uh, Jacqueline Wambui. The two ladies are expected to steer on Kenya and probably we might get a medal between the two of them or we both of them might be on the medal bracket this afternoon. So we move on from the girls 800 meters we move on to the 3,000 meters for boys, and that will be at uh, 4.25 p.m. this afternoon, uh, Kenyan time. We have Edward Zakayo. If you remember, during the 3,000 meters, uh, the heats, Zakayo is the guy that actually finished the race, and these competitors just came in running and falling on the floor. So will he have what it takes to bag a gold for Kenya in the 3,000 meter uh, in the boys 3000 meter and he will not be alone he will be alongside stanley waithaka so that will be at uh, 425 this afternoon and we move on to also another race where kenyans will be taking part and is the boys 2000 meter steeplechase will the youngsters emulate the seniors who have always ruled the steeplechase when it comes to uh, matters to do with athletics remember kenya is known for steeplechase and so will leonard bet and cleophas Kandie emulate their seniors and probably bagger gold and silver in this event. Uh, it will be at 10 minutes past 
five uh, this afternoon. So we move on from that. And uh, the last e uh, event of the day will be the 4x400 four meter relay. But before we look at the 4x400 four meter relay and the exploits that Kenyans had yesterday. So let's take a look at what to expect from these youngsters and what they did in the semi-finals before qualifying for the finals. She's not a medal contender in this event, but she does have great support behind her. And well, that's better. And it's Engesha and the uh, Eritrean Pekwemoy of Uganda and Bereket uh, Michael's there also uh, bringing up the chasing group. David Rudisha actually said ahead of this heat that uh, he would focus on qualifying as they really both go for a kick there and then he would strategize for gold a little later. But he's in a race here and he wants to run it with Mengesha. They want to take victory. He'll want to win this in front of the home crowd. Mengesha is still going as well. Neither of them is giving up. They both know they'll make the final. But Zakayo has got more in his legs as he comes to the finish. It's a Kenyan victory in the heat of the 3,000 meters in 8.04.87 with Mengesha in seconds. And there is... The youngsters right there during the 3,000, uh, 2,000 meters steeple chase rather. And uh, now we move from that to the relay. Yesterday, if you got the chance to watch the highlights of the relay, remember Kenya won. And we have, we had Mary Mora coming, you know, defeating a boy in that relay. And probably if you never got a chance to watch that, let's take a look at how it went down during the 4 by 400 meter relay. Inevitable that the male athlete would come through faster, but it's a question of whether the Kenyans can hang on to this lead. Mary Mora will do the last 400 meters. She was the silver medalist in the 400 meters, but behind her, she's got the Brazilian Arson Santos, the boy, chasing her. So she hasn't got the gap, I don't think. The Jamaicans are coming as well with the boy Tyrese Reed. So the two boys chasing the Kenyan Mora. Look at the figure, look at the contrast. Dos Santos, he's gliding past Mary Mora. So the tactics of the Brazilians. A boy leading them home. Although Mora, what about this? What a response from Mora. But look out for Tyrese Reed, the Jamaican. He's coming as well. Mora has gone past the Brazilian. What a performance from Mary Mora. Here comes Tyrese Reed. But Kenya are going to win the first heat. An extraordinary performance from Mora. As the Jamaican and the Brazilian boys could not quite catch her. That is the magic of the mixed relay. Now from the 4x400 four four meter uh, relay right there, I'm sure you're excited about what to expect this afternoon at the Kasarani Stadium. Probably we might have a record attendance or we might even have Kenya bagging more medals, either gold, silver or bronze. So it's going to be a really heated afternoon. And remember, Lynn Washira has been camping at the Kasarani Stadium. She will be giving us more updates as the day goes by on what to expect. And probably she will be speaking to the winners in different categories to get us more updates about what is happening. I would like to wind it up there and we'll be giving you more updates. My name is Robinson Okenye. But coming up is not something different from athletics. Remember in athletics we'll be talking about who is leading where and where. Yusuf Ibrahim is coming up with a campaign trail and he'll be telling us who is leading in what and what to expect. I remember we're in the campaign season and Yusuf Ibrahim will be up next. Do have a lovely afternoon.